Namaskar. I'm Evelyn and I work on retina regeneration in the zebrafish. Welcome. I'm Nandini. I work on tumor xenografts in zebrafish. Namaste. I'm Prabhesh. I work in brain regeneration in zebrafish. Yasas. I'm Vanya and I work on spinal cord regeneration also in zebrafish. We are all scientists located in Dresden and together we created Strifey, a small but mighty little fish that traveled the world to tell everyone about regeneration. So, enjoy! Our story begins in the Himalaya, far, far away from here. There lived a happy fish couple, Mrs. Zebra and Mr. Fish. They lived under a lovely small seaweed, together with their small son, Strifey. Strifey was a very happy little fish. He loved going to school and learning new things every day. His teacher, Mr. Octopus, was telling Strifey and his friends the most amazing stories. Strifey's favorite class was biology, and he had already decided that when he would grow up, he would become a scientist. Strifey's next best favorite thing was to play with his friends. Their favorite thing was to explore. They would hide behind the seaweed, the rocks, and all the other colorful plants. They would swim as fast as they could until they couldn't breathe anymore, and then start again. Their pond was such a magical place. There was only one thing Strifey and his friends should not do. They should not go to the forbidden area, the area where the bad fish were living. One day, after school, Strifey and his friends were playing, and they were very careful to be away from the forbidden area. But suddenly, the bad fish appeared and they were looking for trouble. Hey, you, said a big shark with shiny, sharpy teeth. Aren't you scared of us? Strifey and his friends were terrified. Stay calm, you guys, Strifey whispered to his friends. We are not looking for trouble, he said bravely to the big shark and his friends. We are just playing on our side. Oh, really? You hear that, guys? the bad shark said to his gang. Before Strifey and his friends would blink, the bad fish attacked them. Stay strong, you guys, said Strifey. Don't let them win. We can take them. Be brave. Our fish were brave and fast, and they knew that place better than anyone else. So after quite some time of fighting, the bad fish decided to go. We will be back, said their leader. We won, we made them leave, we are heroes, said the little fish screaming and laughing and hugging each other, happy and proud of themselves. Is everybody okay? Yes, I'm fine, all good, said everyone after the other. Oops, said Strifey. I think we have a small problem. He didn't know how. Somehow, while fighting, Strifey had lost his fin. Embarrassed and sad, Strifey went straight home to tell his parents. What happened? said his parents as soon as they saw him. Are you okay? Strifey told them everything. And then he asked, but what will happen to my fin? The other fish won't play with me anymore. I'm the only one with a shorter fin. What will I do? Oh, Strifey, said his mom. You're special, no matter what. Your friends will not stop being your friends because of your fin. We are all different. And this is what makes us unique. Now go to bed, and I'm sure you'll feel better tomorrow. Strifey went to bed already feeling better 
It was just a fiend after all. And his friends wouldn't mind. Should we tell him? Whispered Mr. Fish to his wife. Let him sleep. We will talk to him tomorrow. The next day, Strifey woke up, feeling much better. It was a brand new day. He got out of bed to get ready for school. But then he noticed something really strange. His fin was back. How could that be? Could he be dreaming? But no, it was there. Mom, Dad, look, my fin is back. How could this be? Strifey, we think it's time to tell you a story, said Mrs. Zebra. A story about our family secret. It was many, many, many years ago when your grandfather first noticed that he has this magical power. Ever since, everyone in our family is able to regenerate. Regenerate? What is regenerate? said Strifey. It is what brought you your fin back, said his mother. It is a magical power that allows your body to form again if you're injured. Is it because of my cells? asked Strifey. Mr. Octopus told us that our body is formed from cells. Exactly, said Mrs. Zebra. The cells of your body are like very, very small building bricks. Sometimes they fall apart. And then you need professional builders to put them back in place. But sometimes, if the damage is too big, the bricks cannot be put back to place. Now imagine that your cells can do it alone, without any builders, and they can repair any damage. Wow, said Strifey, this is so cool. Yes, said Mrs. Zebra, it really is. Strifey swam a bit thinking all these amazing things he just found out. This could be so helpful to other fish, or other animals, or even people. I will travel the world and let everybody know that we can regenerate, said Strifey. I will go everywhere. He was so excited. He felt happy. He would begin as soon as possible. A few days later, Strifey was ready for his amazing and brave journey. And so he began. He first went to India, and from there to Australia, and then straight ahead to China, and then to the Pacific Ocean and Hawaii, and furthermore to Peru and the wonderful mountains of Machu Picchu. Directly from there, he continued to US and California. Excited and full of enthusiasm, brave Strife continued traveling, and in every place he went, he was telling everyone of what he knew. Soon, he reached New York, and from there, straight ahead to Europe. Oh, the places he would see and the people he would meet. He first went to England and then France. And from there, he continued to Italy and then to Egypt and finally to Greece. Until one day, after a long, long journey, Strifey reached Germany and a beautiful town called Dresden. And there, something magical happened. Strifey met the scientists. There were so many of them, women and men from all around the world. And Strifey decided to stay there for a while and maybe become a scientist himself. Oh, how happy Strifey was. He would work with the scientists to find out how regeneration happens and how they could together help the world. Dresden was such a nice place. He met the most extraordinary friends there, people and animals from all around the world. And each and every one of them had a magical power. 
he became best friends with an axolotl, a beautiful lizard from Mexico, and met thousands of worms that loved to hide and slide in the grass. And flies with big glowing red eyes that loved flying around with their small wings. And mice, white and grey, that stayed up all night gossiping about stories they heard during the day. Oh, how lucky Strife he felt. He was so happy. One day, Strife was working in a lab with his scientist friend. It was exactly then when Strife saw her. She was the most beautiful fish he had ever seen. Her stripes were bright and shiny, and she had long, beautiful fins that moved elegantly as she was swimming around with her friends. What is your name? asked Strife. Loffy, she said, smiling. And you? I'm Strife, he said. And they both felt a small pinch in their heart. It was love at first sight. Sometime after that, Strife and Luffy got married and had many, many children, all with magical powers like Strife. Some stayed in Dresden and some traveled the world to meet new places and tell everyone their magical story. But up until today, our small stripy fish continue their work with the amazing scientists. And together, they try to understand how regeneration happens. And all together, they live happily ever after. The end.